breaking news tonight. The principal who paddled a six-year-old student did not commit a crime. The state attorney's office completed its review. Spanking a child is not illegal in Florida. This is what the girl's mom recorded at Central Elementary School in Clewiston. No, I'm not going to do it again. And sit down. Corporal punishment is not allowed in Hendry County schools. We wanted to know what is the line between corporal punishment and child abuse? Tonight, it's Andreana Shepard went to find out. She is live in our newsroom tonight. Andreana, what did the mother's attorney say? The family's attorneys believe the state's attorney's office only took physical scars into consideration on whether or not that paddling is considered abuse. But he tells me that child is traumatized from this. This paddling is not child abuse, nor is it battery, according to the state's attorney's office. And as a result, the deputy chief assistant state attorney wrote in a memo, no charges will be filed. The family's attorney, Brent Provinsky, is surprised. The most glaring, uh, obvious uh, fact that he ignored is that uh, paddling a child in the public schools in Henry County is prohibited. But corporal punishment is legal in Florida, but is not allowed in Hendry County schools. So when does corporal punishment become child abuse? Criminal defense attorney Robert Foley says the punishment established has to be reasonable to correct the behavior. In this case, damaging a piece of computer equipment. Child abuse is an intentional injury on a child. When the state attorney's office was considering its uh, filing decision uh, that it reviewed the evidence that it had, uh, and recognize that uh, it was reasonable. Uh, it is authorized by law. And, and what happened, at least in my eyes on the video, was not a crime. But Foley says since the Hendry County School District doesn't allow what we've seen in this now viral video, the two school staff members could still face disciplinary action from the district. Wink News reached out to the principal and the aide in that video, seen in that video again today, but we have not heard back. We also reached out to the school district to get an update and didn't hear back either. Live in the newsroom, Andreana Shepard, Wink News, now.